This exhibition features photos, haute couture pieces, and sketches for designs. More than 400 works by Karl Lagerfeld are on show. He believes they speak for themselves. I live according to Voltaire's motto, anything that needs explaining is not worth explaining. I hope that when people walk around the exhibition, they get a sense of what I wanted to say. If you're gifted with words, then you can tell people whatever you want, even if what you're showing them has nothing to do with what you're saying. That's why saying anything now is dangerous. Lagerfeld himself was involved in planning the show. The 80-year-old worked on the exhibition for more than a year. This wide-ranging survey of his work has just opened. It's a huge honor, and it was completely unexpected, because I never thought that I'd be respectable enough for a museum like this. God knows, I never take myself too seriously. Lagerfeld is much more than a fashion designer. The exhibition reveals the diversity of his output. Architectural models made especially for catwalk shows. Photos he took for commercials. And even a piano he designed. In a career spanning well over five decades, Lagerfeld has tried his hand at almost everything. So what's on show here is just a taste of all the things he's done. The challenge is always selecting what to show. You have to realize that even though there are hundreds of exhibits, the exhibition represents just a sliver of the entire trove. Another challenge was using very different media and methods in setting up the exhibition. Karl Lagerfeld was born in Hamburg in 1933. His fashion career began in Paris. In 1983, Chanel appointed him creative director. Lagerfeld added a touch of pizzazz to Chanel's image. He revamped the label, and it's still bounding ahead decades later. His trademark look is sunglasses, white hair and ponytail, and black leather gloves. A decade ago, he became the first top designer to create a collection for a chain store, and he's always looking for the next big thing. I'm never satisfied with what I do. It's like in a school report card, could do better. I always have the feeling my next photo, collection, sketch or book, that'll be the one. The book I publish. This permanent restlessness is a healthy thing. His creative drive has pushed Lagerfeld to take photos and shoot films. He's also opened a bookshop and set up a publishing house with business partner Gerhard Steidel. Steidel also curated the Essen exhibition. It's really easy and really simple to work with him. You have to realize that he has a showbiz side. He acts differently when he's out in public doing interviews, besieged by his fans, than he does with his staff. When we work together, if he's working with Chanel, then it's all about hard, intensive work, about the craft. Steidel has published dozens of volumes featuring photos and drawings by Lagerfeld. This photo series, entitled Sweet 3906, is a homage to U.S. painter Edward Hopper. Lagerfeld has also produced five short films for fashion houses. The Essence Show may celebrate a very long career, but don't call it a retrospective. It shows what I've done. I don't view it as a retrospective. I hate retrospectives. It's like a sampler of work in a creative field or several fields. That's what I think it is. And it's better that way. Because retrospective implies finality, that it's over, and I'm not done yet. The fight goes on. The exhibition showcases Lagerfeld's endless struggle for beauty. It's a fitting tribute to this titan of design.